yo what is going on y'all we are back with another video man and this one we're going to be checking out some chuck now shout out to everybody who got in like whenever whenever that was i made my video so i can't remember because i posted on the patreon first so the patreon definitely ate bro but honestly from the time that i posted on my youtube channel if if you did jump in if you did want to do your research do your own due diligence and decide to jump in you would be up you would be up 2x right now at least <laughs> you'll be up 2x like the patreon's probably up a little bit more like i made my video around let me see it was around uh around this area down here so yeah like you it, you would have made crazy profits right now um if if you were if you were jumping in the project so um shout out to everyone who is holding chuck right now who's in here eating who's in here getting this money because it, it is insane bro it is insane how much opportunity is out here yo and I know that a lot of people just like just like FOMO into just one thing and go super hard and super heavy, but learning to diversify and learning to become more educated about the broader space and all the opportunities that's out there, it's a very beautiful thing, man. Um Chuck just hit an amazing milestone. Um as you can see, we hit a penny. We we currently hit a penny, man, and that that's amazing. That's a beautiful thing. Um 10 million dollar market cap. I mean, it's down a little bit more right now. I think it's it's a little bit people are probably taking profits but yeah um and then the locked liquidity is uh, is up to about a million as well so this is huge this is very very massive the project is doing everything the right way that they're supposed to be doing it and i love to see i love to see them delivering man i love to see them standing by their word doing every single thing that they said they were going to do and and more above and beyond because so much of what is getting talked about isn't even hasn't even come yet so much hasn't even come yet. So for this project to be doing this well, people are starting to recognize the name. Um, because what's crazy is a lot of er a lot of early on influencers that they had to pay to to just even get their attention on the project. These influencers will hear the name, go check it out, and now they're all saying the same thing, bro. This chart looks amazing. It's not slowing down. Yo, this is a different. They, they like they're like this is a different type of project. Everybody's starting to see it now. Um, everybody is definitely starting to see it now. And I mean, it's bullish. Like for us holders, like, yo, it's a beautiful thing. And then it's a community full of people who's holding strong too. Like we got a lot of faith. We not sitting here dumping or nothing like that. That's dead. Um, we know that this project is big. We know what, what's trying to be accomplished here. And we believe that it can go super, super far. Um, so yeah, like that being said, man, like I said, shout out to everybody who jumped in. Um, Patreon, uh, for, for Patreon members and those interested in joining Patreon, I did post about five new positions that I opened into some other investments. And yeah, like those are, they're already looking pretty good, to be honest. I'm, I'm up, I'm up on everything. I'm, I'm always, <laughs> I'm usually always up on everything. So, um, yeah, I mean, not, not to say that, I mean, I can't take an L or I can't get things wrong because I'm pretty sure my day is going to be coming eventually, but I mean, to this to this point, it makes me nervous to say, but to this point, I have not taken, I don't take L's, bro. I really don't. Um, and, I, and I guess it's just, I'm around the right people, like the right people who teach me and tell me about mitigating risk and telling me about how to not over leverage myself and overexpose myself, taking unnecessary risk and things like that. Because I did it, I did it once before in my last project and obviously it paid off, even though it didn't pay off for a lot of people, it paid off for me, but since then i've learned so much and and being able to be involved in chuck in the right way and make sure like my portfolio is looking right it's looking nice now to be fair chuck holds a large chunk of my portfolio because i believe in chuck but i mean it, it's 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 just another piece of my overall puzzle so yeah that being said bro if you all don't know what this project is it's it's a great new um it's a it's a great new meme coin on the the base the base network and base is the current narrative it's, it's a narrative for why it could be one of the biggest in the whole crypto space because it's obviously associated with coinbase it's coinbase's network and we know that they have what hundreds of millions of people on coinbase active so at the point where they start actually pushing the base network that's going to unlock these these tokens to a, a whole new audience, way bigger audience. So many people will be able to get their hands on this a lot easier. So to be, to be rising up and becoming some of the one of the biggest projects on a platform that's yet to even blow up. The platform itself hasn't blew up. So 
the fact that these tokens are starting to to do pretty well do really really good and then it's still more to come it's just the beginning like look at the exchange listings bro like <clears throat> we're not on nowhere we're, we're, we're not nowhere right now you can't even get this nowhere so so you got people spinning the narratives that this is the you know, this is, oh, it's too late. People are talking about it and stuff like that. Bro, you can't even get your hands on this token. Like, let's talk about all the tokens that that, that explode, bro. Like, it's usually on a lot of different exchanges, a lot of different places. You can easily get your hands on it. You can't even easily get your hands on this token yet. And they are, the team is definitely looking to get onto some exchanges. They're looking to make moves to make um to make the, the token more accessible. So that's going to be very, very big once they actually can deliver that and make that happen. So thinking that like, oh, is it too late? Bro, it's, it's not too late, bro. The, the team is working very, very hard and it's a lot going into making this successful, bro. They didn't only come this far to only come this far. They're trying to push this token to become one of the top in the whole space. Like that, that's what they're doing. They're trying to push this to become one of the top. And I believe that it it definitely has what it takes to do it. I think that it has what it takes to become one of the top coins. Like I don't see why it wouldn't be able to compete with some of the you know some of the bigger coins, especially on the base platform. Now we can argue if it if it can mess with the you know the the Pepe's and whips and all this stuff. We can argue that um, the Muse. We can argue if it can mess with all that, but we are we really going to argue if it can be one of the top coins on base? Like look at this chart. Like, like look, look at how it looks. Look how strong it is. This shows you how strong the community holding is. This shows you, I mean, you pretty much are seeing all that you need to see. Like, and if you look through the social medias, you can see they're already donating to charities, um, standing on the word they said they were going to do. Bro, <clears throat> basically, what I'm trying to get across is that there's a lot of opportunity here right now. Don't miss out on opportunities because you've fallen in love with one project, man. Um... I don't know why you're in this space, why you're investing, why you're doing what you got to do. More than likely, it's for your family. And your family don't need you to be growing attachments to something that's a risk. This entire space is a risk. Everything is a risk. The The only thing that, the, I think the only thing that's, that's more risky than investing in a lot of different things is investing in only one thing or, or investing in, or not investing at all. Like, people think that that's the safe route to not lose money. Like, bro, your money, your days are numbered for your money anyway. The whole financial system is crashing. The whole financial system is going to change. Some, like, big things are going to happen. And it's not too far off. It's not that, that far off. Um, Big things are going to happen with the whole financial industry, bro. And a lot of people don't want to, like, don't, don't want to even have that conversation, man. But the world is going to change. It's going to become unrecognizable. And crypto is one of the first steps in that. So you you might want to get in here and take advantage of these opportunities while they're here. Who knows if if this these opportunities will still be here once this really does become mainstream and once it becomes the norm. Like it'll probably slow down and, and probably look similar to the stock market. Like get some nice decent returns. Um, like like get nice ten percent returns and stuff like that. Like where you can consistently see that. It'll probably end up looking something like that. Who knows if we're still going to see 100% returns, 1,000%, 10,000. Like, who knows if you're going to be able to get these type of opportunities, you know? So while the opportunities are here, you don't want to be the person out here speculating, oh, th they're scamming. They're trying to take my money. They're trying to take my money. Like, bro, if you sit here and call out every single thing is trying to take your money, chances are you're going to you're gonna have a correct call. But there's going to be some ones that, there's going to be a lot of opportunities that you miss, like being scared because putting ten dollars in something here or ten dollars in something there, it's not going to be life changing to anyone. Like it's not going to hurt you, but you could make a good amount of money or like I, honestly, if you can even scrape together like a hundred dollars and throw that into if you take a hundred dollars and throw it into like ten coins. It'll be very hard to miss on all ten. And one of those is going to go to the point where you can get get that get that thousand dollars back. <laughs> so, I mean, you can literally gamble in this space and and do really really well doing a bull run. Like <clears throat> being in the middle of a bull run is a blessing, bro. It's it's very hard to do bad during a time like this. It's very very hard to do bad during a time like this. Honestly, it's a skill if you can manage to to do bad 
doing a bull run, a crypto bull run at that. It's it's a that's that's a skill. It takes some I don't know, it takes some hell of a bad luck to to do bad doing a crypto bull run. Um like and it, it is some freak events that can happen, but don't 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 overexpose yourself. <laughs> All right, bro. So look like I've been talking too long. Your boy's starting to cough more. Mm. But yeah, I just wanted to let you all know. Um, congrats! I just wanted to congratulate everybody who took advantage of the opportunity. Um, this is just the beginning for Chuck. We'll be seeing Chuck rise a lot more. Um, I'll be doing more content on some of the reasons that I have convictions behind it. I'll also be going over some other base projects. I do believe in the base network as well. So we'll be going over a lot of that and a lot more crypto content coming soon as well. So yeah, man. Um, just stay vigilant, man. Um. Stay vigilant and, and stay open to opportunities because the opportunities is going to be open. The opportunities is going to be there for those open to them. Um, If you've closed your mind off, you're, oh, I took an L this one time, so I'm not going to take another risk. Then you're just going to be stuck where you are. Like As you can see, people are taking profits. The price is starting to go down a little bit more, but it's fine. I mean, we just hit all-time high again. Look how many times we've just hit all-time highs, bro. Look at how many times we're, we're cracking all-time highs, bro. Like, then what's this? This this in the last like week or so. In the last week or so, how many times have we cracked all time highs, bro? Like, and this is just the beginning. Like, this is just the start. So, yeah. Um, you have to change your mindset, bro. You have to be willing to take losses if you're gonna if you're gonna win. And I I what I've learned is that if you do a lot of due diligence and you're around the right people, you're in the right networks. You it's not likely that you take a lot of losses to begin with, yo. You, you don't, you really just, you really don't like you, you will take more losses doing things on your own, being uneducated, watching a YouTube video and following a random influencer and stuff like that. Like doing that is more risky than being a part of groups full of people actually doing due diligence, checking in on projects. Like it's, it's very hard to fail when you're around the right people. It is very hard, but a, a lot of people I know won't even be able to process that because so many of us are lone wolves like i've been that way my whole life too this this bull run this is when i like this is when i like well last bull run was the start of it being more eye-opening when i met god entries and god entry and all those guys like that was the start of me realizing yo just having strong people like this around you they see stuff before it even comes but now being completely like we're not completely out of out of my old project but being very, very successful in the broader crypto space and a bunch of different things surrounded by different people invested in different stuff and everything is going well. Like you start to realize how powerful a network is because I see certain things. And then when I'm talking to other people, they're seeing certain things. And then we get excited because we see in the same thing. And it's like, yo, like if I wasn't, if I hadn't made this connection, if I wasn't net networking with this person, um, maybe my conviction wouldn't be as strong. So, and maybe I would have missed this opportunity if I would have just saw this by myself and been like, ah, oh, that's just another scam. Um, and yeah, a lot of people do that. A lot of people do that. So, yeah, man. Um, I'm I'm open to a, I'm open to all opportunities personally. I'm looking up a lot of stuff on a daily basis, and yeah, we're gonna keep grinding, man. But let me know what you all think. Um, hopefully you all are getting some money out here. A lot of money to be made right now, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out.